Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Iron Man. But it's not just any Iron Man. It's the one you can't see. There it is. Silver Centurion. Many people, many papal, many papal love this particular look for Iron Man. I am one of those papal. Uh, in fact, Silver Centurion's one of my favorite looks for Iron Man, bar none. And... This figure uses a lot of parts from a really good release of Iron Man that has been maybe the best one ever. And this one does a few things even more above and beyond in a very good way. So there's actually some pretty cool things to talk about here. And one thing that's kind of a bummer, but it's not so bad. So let's go ahead and get this off the stand and take a closer look. This guy, let's straighten out his legs. So one of the things I want to point out, actually, I'll just do it right now. One of his legs appears to be just ever so slightly longer. You can look at the heel. I have them both up at the same angle. And look at the heel. It's just ever so slightly longer on this side as far as I can tell. Now maybe it's just mine. If you notice it on yours, let me know. That'll be helpful information for everybody else reading through the comments. Anyway, I, that wasn't actually the thing I wanted to mention. I'm assuming that's not standard, though I don't see any spots where we're getting any extra length from an issue that is just on mine. So we'll see. Anyway, this guy stands just about 17 and a half centimeters just shy of that, which makes him pretty close to six and three quarters inches. And before we get into the review, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. Question of the day is, which Iron Man suit is your favorite? Not counting MCU suits, just comic based suits. Preferably suits that appeared in the cartoon in the 90s, but I'll leave it up to you as long as it's a comic based suit. Let me know which is your favorite. For me personally, I'm a very big fan of the cartoon look or the MC, MVC look for Iron Man, the classic one, but I do really, really like this one. Okay, now, this guy is an exclusive figure at Walgreens, hard to track down. Is it worth it? We're gonna, we're gonna cover the entire figure and you'll be able to decide for yourself if it's worth it. Uh, they do appear to be showing up in cases of eight of just this guy, which is fairly standard for Walgreens. So I don't think it's going to be perpetually difficult. I think it might just be difficult right now and they should be kind of all over the place fairly soon. That's just my guess. All right, so aesthetically speaking, there's a few things that are great. The first thing is the silver for the silver is very nice. It is painted and it looks wonderful. It's one of the things Hasbro does best. It's very, very nice silver. Now, one of the bad things is the red is the marbly plastic, and it is not the worst marbly plastic, but it is marbly plastic, and it's not as good as painted. It's also a little bit blue. You know how red can have blue in it and turn it purple? You can have yellow in it and turn it orange? I would prefer to have a much more neutral red. Not too much blue, not too much yellow, just a nice pure red. This has definitely a hint of blue in it. It's not purple, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. It has just a tiny hint of color to it that I don't prefer. Some of you may not care, but it is worth noting that. I do want to point out the head is actually a closer pure red than any other part of the body. And that is one of the bummers. It's very hard to notice, and some people can't differentiate red shades very well anyway. But the head is, and it may not show up on camera, the head is a different color red than every other part, which is definitely a bummer, if you can tell. If you can't tell, then don't worry about it. But uh, if the whole body was this color red, I'd be happy. And if you can't tell the difference, you may be already happy anyway. The repulsor in the middle is just solid white. I guess I can zoom in again. It's just painted white. Doesn't have very much of a nice look to it. It's fine, it'll do, but it does not have any sort of glowing effect or 3D effect or anything like that. It's just very plain. And then as far as the face paints go, it's okay. It's just white in the eye area with a black outline and then a black mouth. There's nothing that really stands out as bad there for the paints. And that's it for paint. So the silver parts are wonderful. The red parts are okay. It's nothing crazy. It's fine. Uh, a little bit of detail work wouldn't have hurt this guy at all, but it is still nicely executed for the most part. So aesthetically, that's good. As far as the sculpt goes, I don't really have much to complain about. They have the arms on the right side this time. That's a good thing. Um, proportionally speaking, he's very nicely done. So aesthetically speaking, I will give it, I'm going to give it an eight. They still did a really nice job and that silver is just wonderful. Very nice. All right, as far as the accessories go, we have the two fist hands that come on them in the package. Then we have two repulsor blast hands. That is it. The repulsor blast hands do not have hinges. They just have holes for repulsor blasts. As far as repulsor blasts go, we have kind of six different pieces, but it's really more like eight. 
ish. Uh, they're different, they can be configured in different ways, but you generally have the two normal size blasts, two completely slim things, and then the two big flat blasts, which all can be used on their own, or you can put the little skinny ones in the big ones, or you can put the medium size ones in the big ones, or you can just use the little ones, all four little ones on their own. However you wanna do it, you can do that. And that's it for accessories. I think that's probably enough. I would prefer some painted repulsor blast hands to go with him. Uh, so that would be nice, but I'll give it an eight. It's still a decent batch of accessories. No shading on the Repulsor Blast though. And they're yellow, I would prefer blue. That's what it shows on the package. Blue is definitely a better look as far as I'm concerned, or at least bluish white here. I'll show you. Like that, bluish white, where is it? I guess it doesn't show butt better there. Anyway, you get what I'm saying, bluish white, that'd be nice. And also, I think the Repulsor here and the Repulsor here should match like in that artwork. This one doesn't match the blast. So that's also a bit of an issue. Tiny issue, but still. All right, as far as articulation goes, this is a new thing. And I know some people don't like this because there's a gap at the bottom. And that's partly because Hasbro still doesn't know what they're doing with double ball pegs, really. This one does happen to work well, but you'll notice the head and neck move around on that top ball peg a lot. Um, that's, if you're moving the neck, you want it to move at the bottom, not up in the top of the head. So you don't want the neck to create that big gap that people don't like about it. Luckily though, it does give you really nice range and you can pose this well. And you do have that other ball peg in there. So you can kind of just account for whatever you want to do. Like that's a very nice, you can't do that on most Iron Man figures. So you can definitely get some nice posing done. As long as you're cognizant of that gap right there, you can pose it away mostly, but it definitely shouldn't be there and they, while a double ball peg is the bestest of bestest things for the neck, they still need to do some refinement and work on that a little bit. But that's still, despite the flaws, I do really like this neck joint because you can pose this head in so many better ways than most Iron Man figures. So that's pretty cool. They just need to do better. Now the shoulders here, oh boy. Oh boy, it's almost like I've been saying shoulder pads should move with the arms my entire life of reviewing and companies are starting to finally do that <laughs> and it's kind of great. Watch this. Look at this. The whole thing rotates with the arm all the way around. It gets tight in some spots. That's okay. The whole thing moves and this more or less is what I've been saying Bandai needs to do on their SH figure. It's Goku figures. Stop with that little floating sleeve crap that they are doing. That's terrible. Stop it. This, more or less, again, is how they should do it. The whole sleeve, because this is even the same shape as the sleeve, should just rotate in a socket. Now, this one, it's actually connected to the arm. You can't move the arm inside that as far as rotation goes. So that should be separate. This should be a more floaty piece. Not completely loose, but a floaty piece so that you can adjust it a little bit more. But this is, generally speaking, a wonderful way to handle this type of shoulder pad. It's very nicely done. Now, the shoulder does still have its hinge. Doesn't go up quite horizontal on this one. They probably could have done a little bit better with that, but it suits the design well enough, so I'm not gonna even worry about that. You still have your bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. That's not the best in the world, but it's it's fine. And then you have your wrist swivel and a hinge on the fist hands, which is kind of useless, but it's there, and no hinge on the repulsor blast hands. Ab crunch goes nicely, pretty far back, I guess. And not as far forward, but it is still a decent looking ab crunch, especially going back. You don't get that pot belly look. So that's re really nice. And then you have your waist twist. Hips go out to the side just fine, no issues there. Going forward, plenty of range going forward. Not too much of a kick out to the side, just a touch. Thigh swivel is fine. Double jointed knee is fine. I don't think there's a boot swivel. I thought there was when I first opened it, but I can't get mine to spin and it looks like it's not supposed to, so I'm gonna assume that's the case. Ankles go pretty far back and not really far forward at all. Really nice ankle rocker though. So it's not like the best articulation ever, but those shoulder pads are awesome. The neck is awesome-ish, and they're definitely making some steps in the right direction, and otherwise it's average. So I'm gonna give this guy an eight for articulation. It's not, it's not impressive in most spots, but I really like the way they're thinking for this right here. And then even up here in the neck, even though it's not perfect, they're still making some good good decisions and it's making the figures better. better. Better to pose and better to look at. And it just makes more sense. It makes more sense, it's wonderful. So I'm very pleased for a lot of reasons there. So final verdict on this guy. Is it worth tracking down at Walgreens? Yes, absolutely, for sure, 100% for sure, yes. Is it a really good Marvel Legends figure in general? Well, in some ways it's 
one of a kind and it the best at what it does in some very specific ways in other ways there's almost no paint on here and at least as far as detail work and we have some color inconsistencies and in marbling in the plastic that's not great can you overlook that i'm guessing if you collect marvel legends easily <laughs> that's how i'm looking at it and that silver does look really nice on the body otherwise so i'm gonna give it a final verdict of eight it's gonna get an eight for marvel legends eight it's not an eight for figure arts to be clear some people still don't get that i rate each figure based on what it is and what it's supposed to be not against every other figure that's ever been made hopefully that makes sense all right guys let me know what you think about the figure let me know what you think about the video by giving it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you didn't like it go ahead and give it a thumbs down and if you haven't subscribed I'm telling you right now, you probably should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.